Hello and welcome back to another video. I hope you are all well. We are back with another inking video. Um, I had a lot of commissions over Christmas and so we have a lot of commissions that are going to be in videos um, for the next month or two. I will try and space them out of course. Um, hopefully I will have uploaded this a little while after the last one. But we have another dog here. I mentioned in my vlogs before Christmas that the photo for this dog is pretty bad i have struggled to pick out any definition or detail or any fur direction and texture and so this is going to be quite a challenge as you can see my sketch is very abstract that's what happens when i'm trying to pick out shapes rather than fur lines and fur direction and so we end up with quite an abstract sketch and that's what's happened here i have been using my ipad technique which i showed in the last video and um, so i will link that up there so that you can go and watch that if you are kind of wondering what I'm on about and I've been using that technique to try and match up the shapes to the actual portrait I've also been trying to sharpen up the picture on my iPad a little bit just so that the reference photo that I'm looking at is a bit better and I can pick out the direction I've also been searching for this breed of dog um, and trying to find out what their fur patterning is like luckily I have some other reference photos which they're quite far away but I can see kind of where the fur is what the fur is doing so here there's quite a big fluffy piece of fur likewise on this front part of the chest and so I think we've got quite kind of a bit of a wiry haired dog which is a bit fluffier in areas and so I'm going to try and work with that and try and see what I can replicate it might be, be a case of doing darks and lights on this rather than specific fur shapes um, which is fine that can work i've done portraits like that before and they work fine but this is going to be quite a tricky one um it's for christmas again so it's a little bit of a tight deadline but hopefully this will work and hopefully we can produce a good portrait so let's get straight into it let's stop talking and let's start inking <laughs>
this is the finished inking. Um, I've just put it in the frame because the client wanted it in a frame and additional cost. I think it looks lovely. Um, it was it was such a difficult one to do. As you saw at the beginning, the reference photo was not the best. I really had to brighten it to bring out the features um, and just try and create some definition to some of the fur and I think I think I've managed to capture it quite well um, and yeah that, I don't think there's much else to say there but it, it really does pay to have good quality reference photos so if you're just starting out doing pet portraits I really highly recommend just making sure you have a good photograph reference because it does make all the difference especially for this style especially so um, but yeah that's it that's all I can say about this one I hope you've enjoyed watching and I hope to see you in the next video Thank you.